For years, it was believed that consuming more than 20 to 30 grams of protein post-workout was useless and wasteful. However, this landmark 2023 study challenges our long-held belief that protein beyond a certain threshold is wasted. The study set out to investigate the relationship between protein intake and anabolic response following resistance exercise. Contrary to the old paradigm, the study found that there are no diminishing returns in protein synthesis rates even with a whopping 100 grams of protein intake post-exercise. The study revealed that the anabolic response to protein ingestion appears to have no apparent upper limit in both magnitude and duration. The researchers demonstrated that protein ingestion leads to a dose-dependent increase in amino acid availability, leading to a simultaneous increase in muscle and whole body body protein synthesis rates. In other words, the higher the protein intake, the greater the muscle protein synthetic response. The counter argument, however, could be that the increased muscle protein synthesis does not automatically mean better rates of muscle growth. Well, the study found that consuming 100 grams of protein as opposed to 25 grams led to a notable increase in myofibrillar protein synthesis, which is primarily responsible for changes in skeletal muscle mass. Specifically, myofibrillar protein synthesis rates were approximately 20% higher during the initial 4 hours and surged to around 40% in the last 8 hours of testing. Also, some might argue that a single high protein meal could lead to excessive insulin secretion or glucose spikes, potentially posing health risks. However, the study debunked this by showing no significant differences in insulin or glucose levels between participants who consume 25 grams versus 100 grams of protein. But who benefits from this paradigm shifting discovery? Firstly, it's excellent news for those of you who prefer fewer meals throughout the day. No longer do you need to worry about constantly grazing, meal prepping, or cooking multiple times a day just to hit that protein target. Many of us have experienced the struggle of eating eating at odd times just to adhere to the 5-6 to six meal regimen. This study offers assurance that consolidating protein intake into one or two large meals can effectively stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Moreover, hard gainers who struggle to see significant muscle growth despite our efforts might find solace in these findings. The result of the study suggests that strictly adhering to a 20 to 25 gram of protein cap per meal might be limiting your muscle building processes, ultimately impeding your gains. What they discovered is that although the initial boost in muscle building signals after exercise and meals was temporary for all three protein intake levels, the researchers found that after this brief period, protein synthesis rates are mainly modulated by the availability of amino acids as substrate. In other words, the volume of amino acids, which is influenced by the amount of protein we consume, controls how much and how long protein synthesis goes goes on in the body. Interestingly, the study revealed that the body's reaction to consuming protein wasn't limited to the immediate few hours after eating. Instead, it extended into the longer post-eating period. This suggests that the advantages of consuming more protein can persist long after exercising, delivering a continuous muscle building effect. It also suggests that by increasing your protein intake per meal, you would also be extending the duration of the protein synthesis process, thereby maximizing muscle growth. In conclusion, the era of protein paranoia seems to be over. This study also supports the notion that the most important thing when it comes to protein intake is not timing and distribution, but the amount of total protein ingested. Now you can embrace the freedom of enjoying your high protein meals without the fear of hitting a ceiling. After all, when it comes to fueling your gains, there's no such thing as too much protein, at least according to this groundbreaking study. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you enjoyed this video and want to continue learning how you can use protein to 
maximize your muscle gains, then check out our video on protein before bed where we highlight a new study proving that it might in fact speed up muscle growth. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Peace.